Hi, I'm Andy, a Copilot Navigator, and in today's flight plan, we're going to talk about a recent announcement from Microsoft for a change in the Copilot experience for Microsoft Teams. Microsoft has announced that the Microsoft 365 chat experience is going to be phased out in favor of the new Copilot app inside of Teams. This new Copilot app is going to bring a better prompting experience, including access to Copilot Labs and the prompt library that's maintained there. Additionally, you're going to be able to see your Copilot chat history. This chat history is going to allow you to go back and revisit conversations. You'll also find that you're going to have a better plugin experience with the new Copilot app. So let's actually dive in and take a look. Here I am inside of Microsoft Teams for my web browser. I've already navigated to chat and I'm at M365 chat having a conversation. This is my virtual assistant inside of Microsoft Teams. This feature allows me to have conversations with Copilot. This allows me to maybe access previous chat and conversation that I've had in Teams, run some summaries, but it also reaches outside of Microsoft Teams. For example, maybe summarizing emails in Outlook or accessing files stored in SharePoint, OneDrive, and Microsoft Teams. The new experience is going to be called Copilot. When we access Copilot, you're going to be able to do many of the same things, but you're going to have a better prompting experience. Down at the bottom, we're going to have the ability to prompt as well as view any prompts from the Copilot Lab prompt library. Additionally, along the upper right hand side, you're going to be able to access your Copilot chats and revisit previous conversations. Now, an added benefit of this is updating this experience brings it in line with other Copilot experiences in Microsoft 365. For example, for Microsoft 365 Home, along the left hand sidebar, we have the Copilot app. Same experience that we're now going to have inside of Microsoft Teams, including the updated prompting experience and the Copilot chat history. Additionally, if you were to go in your web browser to bing.com slash chat and click on the work tab, you will be able to access Copilot there as well. Same experience we now have in Teams. And for those of you that work in the Edge web browser, we have Copilot available in the sidebar, same experience that you'll have right over there. Now this experience is rolling out in Teams for the web, as well as the Teams desktop app. There are a couple other things that I want to point out that are actually really helpful. In addition to having Copilot inside of chat along the left-hand navigation, I can actually bring that to the nav bar along the side. In fact, you might notice I have Copilot there already. In order to add Copilot to the left-hand navigation, you click on the ellipsis down below, look for Copilot, open the Copilot app, and then right click to pin. That'll pin it in to the left hand navigation. And now you can get back to that Copilot experience quick and easy. I'll leave a link to the blog post if you want to go and read a little bit more. There are some questions that were asked down at the bottom, including explaining the difference between the M365 chat experience and the new Copilot app. And with that, I want to thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody.